Welcome to a day in my life in Canada living alone. I do have two other roommates, by the way. You know, we all have different ways of living. Some lucky people get to live in nature, some people live in suburbs, and some people like living in the city. But this time around, I decided to move away from the city instead of living in Toronto. I moved a little further from it, living in Scarborough, with a about 30 minute commute from the city. It's just so much more peaceful, trust me. So this is actually an intimate view of my life over the weekend and how a typical Saturday would look like, though I wouldn't say it's typical, but I love to add some consistent practices in my routine. I almost try to clean every weekend, every other day I clean my room. It just brings me so much peace. I live with two other roommates and all of them are amazing and we assign duties to each other. That's my cat Saj. We absolutely adore him. There's another rat? Oh my god. Wait. And so this week's duty that I got was a mop in the floor. And I like to do it the traditional way, the way I saw it growing up. The cleaning lady that used to come in our house in Delhi. Oh, it was a luxury, but I actually like doing things on my own also. It's made me so much more independent over the years. And I like to get my squats in. My grandma used to tell me that when guys' family used to come and see a woman, they used to jokingly tell us to do like mop the floor because it would get your squats in and get your core in. It's just a it's funny just memory. Welcome to my room tour. Woohoo! So I love creating spaces of high energy, especially my room, because I come back here after work and I just live here practically. So it's very important for me to like decorate corners. And that's my cat, by the way. I love him and he loves sitting on my room. I love decorating my corners and place my mirror where I do my mirror practices, affirmations and I love sensual dancing. Just dancing in general is amazing. So. I have two mirrors in my room, in my tiny room. Cleaning and making corners, you know, just that feel pleasurable to live in. And I also have an altar where, you know, I sit and I can pray and meditate. It's in the corner of my window and I like to keep things outside. It's not messy. It's very, very life-giving, I feel. Rooftop time! Woohoo! <laughs> so this is the time to move your body. I love moving my body in any way. I would honestly pick up any kind of workouts on YouTube or do my yoga practice, which is I like to do the Shtanga series. It really is amazing and very intense. Uh, when days when I can't do it, I just do a vinyasa flow and just flow my body like I did on this day. I wasn't feeling super great. Like I had some pain in my body and that's me dancing on the rooftop just because I saw CN Tower. <laughs> and in the mornings, I also like to, you know, make a drink for myself in which I add Ajven. It's like seeds that just helps in digestion and everything. So I like to make myself a little warm drink. I don't eat anything in the morning. I just have water, do some nasal cleansing sometimes. And sometimes just sit in some meditation, do some pranayam, like I did today as well. Yeah, it's just fun to explore and move your body in different ways and especially if in your in your head and if you don't feel super well i feel moving your body just um, changes things but so i climb up on my roof uh, on my deck i just add this staircase and until i climb up on my rooftop we're not really allowed to go there or we're not really supposed to go there but i do of course because that's me now it is nourishing time, which means it's food time. Woohoo! <laughs> 
Honestly, I love to eat a good first meal of the day. Aim for fruits even when I go for work. Or I would drink a celery juice or I would just drink loads of water if I don't have time to like cook anything. Having fruits in the morning is the best way to, you know, have something light that digests quickly and it's just a way of hugging your body and saying a big thank you and be like mmm I love you little body <laughs> subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot it would be amazing and comment what you typically do on weekends because I'm showing you mine I'd love to see yours So in the evening, I go for some meditation. I do try to keep a routine. I've been working on trying to make a fixed time to practice because I've heard it's the best way to conquer and train your mind. It is all about finding the middle ground for yourself, especially when you have a busy lifestyle of working. It's so important to find the balance between social life, what you eat, how you eat it, who you spend time with on my creative projects, managing finances, managing leisure, cleaning, cooking, and your emotional state regulation which really can get bad if you don't take care of it. So I feel over the past 4 years living by myself with people with different kinds of people has taught me how to find that balance and I'm still trying to find a balance between doing the things that lift up my little soul and it's good to take it slowly slowly slow and enjoy moments of the sun. I personally jump if I see a good sunset. I would jump out of my room. I would climb a staircase. I would do anything to see that. <laughs> Now it's dinner time. Woo! Before 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock I try to try to finish my dinner. And this time I made some khichdi which is something very simple because I was cleansing my body and detoxing it because you know sometimes you eat things you don't really need. evenings i listen to le- ebooks or lectures you know that lift up my mind and my spirit and sometimes i watch a bit of office when i feel distracted if i'm honest it's not all perfect but it is actually perfect you got to watch some office especially when i want to roll my eyes at the back of my skull or i'm trying to escape important tasks <laughs> but office is my favorite by the way if you want to ask me So, thank you so much for coming to my day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And this is a sneak peek into my weekend day. Let me know what other kind of things you'd like to watch. Yeah, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on another day. Have a beautiful day and happy Diwali.